Hey boys and girls, I'm at the beach in Florida and I know you've seen some pictures that I showed of the turtle nest that's right in front of our house and we think that it's a loggerhead sea turtle nest. And so today I wanted to share a new book that I found with you called Follow the Moon Home. Right? And every night that we've been here in Florida, we've had to be really careful that we bring all of our beach chairs up off the sand and we fill in any holes that we dug and we turn the lights off at our house and close the blinds so that if any of the sea turtles come up on the beach that they'll be free to make their nests and if those babies are ready to hatch that they'll know how to follow the moon home and they won't be distracted by our light and nothing will get in their way. Okay? So now I'm going to share with you a story about that. It's called Follow the Moon Home, a tale of one idea, 20 kids, and a hundred sea turtles. And it's written by Philippe Cousteau and Deborah Hopkinson. And Philippe Cousteau is the grandson of a really famous ocean explorer called Jacques Cousteau, who used to go down in these big immersibles, down, 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 deep into the deep ocean to explore and find out more about the ocean. So his grandson does that now too, and he wrote a book about it. Follow the Moon Home. I always need help finding my way, especially in a new place before long. You'll feel right at home, Viv, but I wasn't so sure. It looks like Viv is new, moving to a new town by the beach. Welcome, Vivian, called Mr. J. You're just in time for the fun. We're looking for a problem to solve. I got out my pencil and I bit my lip. I rode my bike all over town looking for a problem. But mostly, I just got lost. On Saturday, I took Samson and Luna for a run on the beach, but mostly, they just pulled me. Let's make a gigantic hole, I gasped, plopping down. My digger and my little digger sprang into action and suddenly it was raining sand. Looks like fun, but be sure to fill in that hole, said a man walking by. It's nesting season. I think he's pointing to the sign. I smoothed out the sand and we all went to look. Well, what do holes have to do with turtles? It's because of the babies, said a voice, and I whirled to see a girl from school. Right? And the sign says, loggerhead turtle nesting area, do not disturb. I'm Clementine, she reminded me. Baby sea turtles need a clear path to the sea. Holes and sand castles just get in their way. Well, I didn't know we had sea turtles here. Samson pulled on the leash. Oh, we do. Oh, and look, that's what happened to this baby, cried Clementine. Did you see the little baby hatchling? Why were you going the wrong way, little one? They have to go to the sea, right? And when things get in their way, they can't get there. Well, Mr. J had told us to use our own eyes so that night mom and I went back to the beach. As darkness fell, we could see bright lights winking on. Did you see all the lights in the houses on the beach? One by one along the shore they came on. That's it, I said. The lights in the beach houses are the problem. Why is that, mom asked. 
Well, when baby turtles hatch, they follow the strongest light that they see. I explained. So if they head away from the sea, then they get dehydrated and they die, right? They're heading towards the sea and as soon as they get there, they have to take great big gulps of water so that they can hydrate again, right? They've been in their eggs for months. They need water. Do you see all the lights in the beach houses? The hatchlings can get confused. My heart sank as I stared at the houses. There are so many. How can we ask all of these people to turn off their lights? Well, most of these houses are vacation rentals, said my mom. Like that's like places where we would stay when we rent a house at the beach. That means new people come to stay every few days or every other week. Clearly, I needed help to solve this problem and I knew just how to get it. So on Monday morning, Clementine and I raised our hands first. We told the class that we learned and observed about loggerhead sea turtles. Well, the sea turtle eggs are starting to hatch, I went on. But to save the hatchlings, we need the whole class, the whole town, to help. And that's how Lights Out for Loggerheads began. So these kids in class, they identified a problem, and now they're going to solve it together. Look at all those pamphlets and books. I think they're doing research. So our classroom became the Loggerhead Lab. First, we gathered lots of information. We read books. We visited an aquarium and a sea turtle hospital. We asked someone from the South Carolina Marine Turtle Conservation Program to speak to our class. We all brainstormed solutions, choosing the best ideas, and then we got to work. We made posters and we delivered them all over town. Do you see how many posters those are? Edward, you would call those your scrolls. <laughs> On them they drew information about loggerhead sea turtles and how to help. And then we wrote fact sheets for all the vacation beach houses. It says, lights out for loggerheads. Let's keep our beaches dark. At night, turn off the outside lights and keep your curtains closed. Thank you. And look, even Samson has an invitation to the town hall meeting. So to pay for printing all those posters and flyers, we held a bake sale. Andy, the coffee shop man, donated a whole pan of his famous granola. Happy to help! The editor of the newspaper promised to put my article in the community newspaper. Nice to have a new writer in town, she said. The printers gave us a discount for the loggerheads. And Rebecca and Max learned how to spread the word on the internet, right, on social media. Mr. J helped to write a press release. I was on TV, right? Look, she's being videoed as a class spokesperson. They're getting the word out. We invited volunteers from SCUT, the South Carolina United Turtle Enthusiast, to a town meeting. And when the big night arrived, the room was packed. The room buzzed with ideas. We talked about how to make our beach a great place for turtles, how to make, how to mark the nests, how to run nightly patrols, and what to do if hatchlings get in trouble. And you know, boys and girls, every morning that I've been at the beach here, I see volunteers who walk up and down the beach early every morning to check for new sea turtle nests. And those are the same people who mark them off protect them and they post a sign so that people know don't walk here walk around be careful a sea turtle has hatched her clutch of eggs here right 
So look, at their town hall meeting, they made a presentation. It says, do keep the beaches dark, turn off outside lights during nesting season, do stay clear, don't disturb the nests. The adult turtles are hatchlings, right? Can't go up to them and take pictures, that disturbs them. Do get involved, volunteer, help protect sea turtles on our beaches. Lights out for the loggerhead sea turtle campaign. Look at these kids. Pop, 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 pop. Mm. At the end, we decided to form our own volunteer group. People cheered for our class, and Mr. J beamed. I am proud of you all. And that was the best night ever until. Do you see? They're walking on the beach at night. All the lights are off. On the last evening of summer school, we went on a turtle patrol. Lots of parents came too. Everyone smiled as we watched the lights along the beach go out, one by one. We had done it. Suddenly, a movement on the sand caught my eye. <gasps> Over here, I whispered. What do you think it is? <gasps> we crept closer. Careful to stay quiet. A crescent moon shone on the waves. The sea glittered like silver. I made out first one and then two hatchlings. Soon the sand teemed and seemed to boil over with life. Tiny turtles no more than like two inches long. Little baby hatchlings. They burst from their nest. See, it says, be aware, sea turtle nests do not disturb. Here they come. They're coming. We watched, barely daring to breathe. Would they know where to go? Remember, what do they have to follow? A moonlight, right, out at sea. <gasps> Look at them go! Oh. And then they were off, scurrying, scurrying over the sand and into that shimmering sea. Right? We have to get to water and get drinks of water. <gasps> we stood together smiling and silent with wonder. And then, just like the turtles, we followed the moon home too. Isn't that a great story of boys and girls? It just shows you that when you guys put your minds to something, you can affect change too, right? And it was really important to these children in the town where they lived that they could make sure that these sea turtle hatchlings got to the sea the way that they're supposed to. Very cool. So I want you guys to think about what can you do? What's a problem that you've seen in our town? You can always help. Okay. And I'll post a little bit more information with some pictures that I have from the sea turtles and the nest that I saw here, right? I'm proud of you guys and all the work that you've done this year, and I know that there's more to come. Okay, have a great summer.